Okay, uh, here I am playing Shroud of the Avatar R19. Um, it's quite a few uh, interesting changes in this release. Um, also, possibly some bugs. Now, you'll notice that uh, all of us at the moment are slowly dying, which is an uh, interesting, uh, interesting um, effect. And the reason for that is I'm suffering from a zombie plague, which you're supposed to get if you come in contact with zombies. But I guess what's happened here is that. Uh, Is that everybody that walks into Soul Town is uh, is uh, getting is getting the plague? So Purify is apparently supposed to. There it is. Supposed to cure the zombie plague. Now I don't know if this bloke is um, trying to kill himself, it's quite possibly he is. If someone dies of the zombie plague, see I've got it again, it's very interesting. If someone dies of the zombie plague, then they create a zombie. So I'm guessing, unless this is just to demonstrate how it all works to everybody, this is, this is a slight bug. So while we're here, we will note that... Uh, as per the last release, when the night sky uh, was properly rendered in the uh, overworld map, some things like uh, like Sultan, some some scenes now have the sky in the scene. Um, I'm just going to kill myself again for laughs. There we go. And immediately get the zombie playback. So presumably, that's that's intentional. Or possibly it's a bug. Who knows? Right. So skills got reset for this release. Um, so I lost all my skills, and you'll also notice that they are far more expensive now. Um, now to compensate this, I've been given thirty-seven thousand gold essentially. Although I didn't get this gold until after. I'd uh, logged out and logged in again. Um, now, one other important thing to note is that now the skill trainers are differentiated. You see, here in Soltan, being a minor village, I can't level up anything after level two on any of my uh, any of my my skill things. Uh, that's probably all right. Because what I want to do is level up some of these lower things. What do I need for that? Tap soul 3. I like my death touch. Ooh, corpse explosion. Never used it, but there you go. Summon skeleton. There are a whole bunch of uh, new, uh, new skills. And uh, that's Jace basically why... Everything's been reset. Entry level 5, Death Touch level 3. I can't level that up, that's fine. Life. I've got some life. I have the Purify so I can cure myself of, um, of magic. I can do light. Sun worship. Alright, so the new skills are Chaos, which include an interesting... Uh, Interesting uh, juxtapose. Interesting well, so it's only available as a combo, which means you'll have to use the deck of uh, a deck of uh, you know the dynamic deck to get it. And then it's it essentially what well, it has a different effect for everything. But whatever you come up with, it, it it basically reverses what that effect is. So that might be interesting to play with. Uh, I can't do much with it now. That's. Um Let's just level up. Alright, we can't do agriculture. Let's level up these. I 
while I'm here. Foraging, go for it. I'm not that worried about that one. So, yeah, obviously I'll come back later and do all of this properly. I'm not bothered for now. I'm in no danger of dying from this zombie plague. If someone does die from the zombie plague, if I didn't mention already, that, that creates a new zombie which then needs to be killed. Um, now the zombies are part of a new a new uh, feature in this release, which is a uh, uh, nighttime spawns. So you know, I was mentioning the sky earlier, and everything is tied to to actual stuff happening in the uh, actual stuff happening in the world. It's an hour an hour of gay time is equivalent to an, a day. Of uh, of real time. So, uh, right. One last thing I want to try in Soul Town is talking to characters. So, it should be that characters can now do emotes. I don't know if we'll spot any. Now there is also a emote. Let's try that. No, it doesn't work. Iron blade. So this is a quest to um, to kill undead creatures. And uh, and steal their iron blades. Yes, the iron blade, the, the undead creature, the, the the night spawning. So basically, you're going to get different creatures spawning in the daytime and the nighttime. And like I said, the daytime and the nighttime is uh, alternating on an hour cycle. Um, so the zombies will spawn at night. Uh, if they attack you, there's a chance they'll be infected, and you need either. See, the plague's gone. You need either to uh, have a potion to cure the plague, or uh, that purify spell. So, East Perennial Trail is one of the areas that will have the zombies, but because it's daylight, there shouldn't be any any zombies here now. Uh, now I'm just going to tick off some things I've done off my list of stuff to talk about. We talked about about zombies. So there doesn't look to be much around here. In fact, but I want to uh, go in here and try and find something to fight because combat is uh, one of the main improved things in this in this release they've spent a lot of time working on combat they've actually uh, put off a few other things because that they depend on the combat essentially uh, like basically um, guild battles and things like that oh there we go Let's attack him. I am kicking his ass because you know I'm awesome. All right, he'll come back to life, though. No, maybe you won't. Let's loot him. So to be honest, it didn't look a lot different, did it? Let's uh, just trundle on through and see if we find another low-level skeleton. I mean, this should be a beginner area because it's near Soul Town. So you would expect it to be a beginner area. I can drop down that tree. I'm not stopped to do that now, though. So if we get time, I may come back here later and look for zombies. 
because we do want to do want to fight one of them. So one of one of the big improvements uh, for the combat is actually in the NBC, NPC behaviour, in that they fixed the bug, in that before, uh, although NPCs would cry out for help, then basically it wouldn't work. Whereas now, um, when they cry out for help, all their mates will come running and help you, uh, which should make combat more difficult. Uh, I'm just going to uh, adjust my, my glyph set because I don't need to use any of those um, horrible... I have to use my current equipment. Right. Can I do anything with it? Yes, death touch. Good man. Healing ray. Healing ray, right, which is more useful for potion. I never really like dodge. I don't think I'll. Oh, let's get let's have flame fist in there. There we go. Right, just in case we get into some combat situations. What was I talking about? All right. Um, yeah, so the NPCs will now properly gang up on you if you tap one of them, which makes things harder. Um, Now another feature, if you if you use a matching set of armour, like I have here, you see that green armour set bonus plus 10% damage resistance. So it, it doesn't have to all be the same armour, but it has to be, so because I've all got, it's all augmented, augmented iron plate, that all matches. Um, if you were using chainmail or chainmail, that would be fine as well. So we'll carry on. Uh, hopefully, by the time I finish the video, it'll be dark and we'll get attacked by zombies. Because, you know, that'll be interesting. In the meantime, let's head back to Ardris. Because there are some interesting features. We want to. That's, it's worth discussing in Ardorus. A little interesting new features. And then I'm going to head round... Head round up, up to the uh, west there after that. Okay, so I'm in Ardorus. I've uh, edited out the uh, minute it spent loading up the, uh, the zone. Uh, so, the first feature that's different in this release is uh, the long bridges in Ardris now actually have uh, some stuff on them. Whereas before they were just empty, featureless. Featureless exam. Is he going to speak to me? He's a strong silent type, evidently. But yeah, there's some stuff. There's some stuff on the bridge now. Uh, a couple of vendors, some guards. You know, makes it makes. Oh, try some fresh sausage. Makes it a bit more. Uh, makes it a bit more real feeling. Uh, now I have noticed the uh, cloak is once again passing through my butt. That was uh, fixed in previous releases. I have uh, fiddled with my graphics setting a bit in this release, so it may be due to that. Now, here's a crafting station. There's a crafting trainer. Will not stop there now, though. Find the main square. Oops, sorry, Sharia. Right, so, here's a skills trainer in Ardris. So what should happen is that now you see now all of these things are uh, are available to me. And because I've got given that gold, I can actually afford them. Uh, 
Uh, and we'll just level these up to three so I can get that. I'll not bother with that one right now. And we'll not bother with these ones. Let's just check the magic. So I've got Flame Fist. Immolation. Fireball. Alright, so I like Immolation. So I must have Flame Fist level 3 for Immolation. Fire out. We'll stick one in that while we're here. And we'll level up our fire, our fire status effects. We're walking fire resistance, cool. Let's have some of that. Death mastery, what's this? Summon undead decay slower. There's some pretty cool skills in here. Corpse Explosion. Death Ray. Oh, so this requires Black Pearl now, which is interesting. I did have that one before. Summon Lich. Cool. Lots of cool skills. We will uh, not go into them right now. Now, there is... I need to find. Let's have a. Merchant Guildmaster. Okay, she doesn't want to talk to me. So oh, yeah, this is not really interesting. I don't know if it's a bug or it's, she's not supposed to talk to me. So I want to find Ardus Alchemist. Oh, oh, he's got Black Pearl. Oh, he's run off. Let's buy some Black Pearl off him. Let's have 20 black pearl. Oh, 30. I can't type in the dark. 600. Is there anything else? Oh, you've got the club, club plague potions. Excellent. Anyway, I'll get some black pearl and I'll go back to the skill trainer and level up my uh, level up my death skill. Now, what I want to find, I'm not going to spend too long searching for it, is, is a uh, particular shop. Ooh, oh, getting a bit dizzy. It's always a bit laggy and arduous. That's death, right? So, black pearl, quartz back, nightshade. Let's just stick three in it. There we go. Maybe I'll use that later. Did he have quartz back and nightshade? Yeah, let's have some of that while I'm here. Nightshade. Okay, so that's my... Ugh. So this was a bug in previous uh, releases. The vendors just walk away from you when you're in the middle of making a transaction. Where's he going? Seriously, what's the point of standing out here? Nightshade, quick. Sign. Alright, so I'm all... Uh, he's emoting at me. Oh, that's really messed up the cloak. 
while I'm here, let me show you the uh, let me show you the tame emote. If you've seen Jurassic World, there it is. Wintermute off cough is taming. Added especially for this release. Nice to know. So, I'm just going to check all these shops. Official. Official of what? Ooh. I've always wondered where he was. So I do have a quest to hand in to him. Good for you. Harmony of all within your care. That's nice. Remember he's there. I'll come back to him, uh, you know, when you're all not around. Darcy of Pax Lair. Now do I get into this shop? Now somewhere... That's a tailor. I suppose I should have got that from the... Uh, from the sign. Somewhere in Ardris is a shop where you can buy a gust ball. So the gust ball is a uh, sport invented within the game of Shroud the Avatar. And uh, sorry, this is a bit jerky, it always gets a bit weird inside houses. Invented inside Shroud of the Avatar. Alright, beds. So I'm guessing that's not the shop. Except when they invented it, uh, a player had to take on the role of the ball. So the developers, having uh, seen this, seen this uh, happen sort of spontaneously, responded by um, Zangoff. Responded by uh, creating the gust ball as an item within the game. Uh, so you can now buy it in a shop in Ardris. As I'm uh, uh, demonstrating right now, I have no clue where the shop is. But uh, this square has a lot of shops in it. Oh, this is a bank. Fair enough. So I don't know where the shop is. I might find out later. And uh, uh, hopefully we can we can see it in a future video. But yeah. So instead of having a player be the ball, the, the developers have uh, actually got in there and uh, added it. Now that that brings me on to one of the other uh, interesting things in this release is that um, they're developing stuff within the game to support player generated quests so there were there were various um various players you know into the role playing aspect i guess who were building their own quests uh basically by having players stand around taking the role of npcs at various points uh so there's already the feature that's coming in that you can write in the books and stuff and they're basically extending that and you can create um, you can buy a lockbox that is I don't know, what did I want? I wanted light light I say Yes, you can buy you can buy a lockbox that light. There we go. You can buy a lockbox that you can have anyone can open and and take stuff out of, but they can't move it. So the, the point of that is if you if you're making your own quest as a player, you can put the 
quest items in the case and players can come along and you don't need to have someone standing there giving them the item for the next bit of the quest. So this this is all very early stuff in this release in uh, R19 but it's it's the beginnings of a system to basically let people generate their own quest content and, and other stuff within the game in addition to all the content that the developers themselves will add. So I find that, you know, that's that shows you, first of all, the community around Trevor the Avatar. A lot of them are long time uh, role playing game people and they're keen in that sort of thing. And also shows you that the developers are keen to support that among their community of players. I'm not sure how that sort of thing will survive uh, you know, once once we get into a uh, oops, walked into a house. Once we get into the the uh, in general eternal eternal September or whatever of a uh, typical Steam uh, MMO player, but uh, there you go. So I'm now heading to the west. It's getting dark, so we might get some contact some. Uh, some combat coming up. I'm not entirely sure I'm going the right way, but I know that the things I'm aiming for are a way out to the west. And the things I am aiming for are uh, the new Overland map, which is what's it called? Etc. It's like etc. except not. And that's over this way, and there's some new areas in etc. Now in the Necropolis, interesting. Let's just head through the trees. Let's see how it goes. I might get pulled into zombie combat. Restless woods. Uh, yes, there's a new. Uh, there's some new scenes in etc and there is a new player town so here I am slowly walking we might uh, take this moment to uh, look at the night sky so basically I'm going to head up the coast and see what happens most likely thing that happens is I'll die and I won't be able to get any further. Oh, I'm falling off. There we go. There is like a village there, but you can't get to it, can you? Alright, so we're looking at invisible walls. Still looking at invisible walls. So let's head over here to the restless woods. Um, No, it's set Quell. So etc is called the mines and the region is called Quell. Now I'm assuming it's over there somewhere, but I don't know quite how to get to it. Uh, rather than doing that now, I'm just going to uh, head into the rest of the woods and see what's about. See if we can end the video with a bit of a zombie combat. Uh, and then what I'll do is I'll have a scout around, see if I can find this uh, new new quell cow quell cow Q U E L area, and uh, and then head towards it and find this new uh, player owned town, which I'm like to always like to do. So it's not quite as dark as what it was outside. Ah, some wolves. 
Wolf's fighting a stag. Let's go kill the wolf. Wolf is on fire. Wolf hasn't even noticed I'm there. Set the wolf on fire again. Excellent. Success. Uh, all right then. So I can't see any zombies. Rather than wander around the rest of the world getting lost. I will just uh, end the video there for now. And uh, if if I find the uh, find the player run town, I will tack on a bit at the end. Uh, so show the avatar. R19 released. First look. Lots of improvements. Uh, worth checking out if you haven't already. I think. So, in the uh, Grunt Edition, at least in terms of my videos, of me editing out the bits of me being a Muppet, I've uh, I've had a good scout around, and uh, right, discovered where I needed to go. So we're heading back from the Restless Woods. I basically went too far west. And what we want to do to find this uh, new area is look for the snowy trees. Up there, you see I'm running past them. Now there should be a turning up. Maybe I ran past the turning. But there, Brightburn Pass, what we want to do... Oh, there's, I didn't go up to it, look. There's the road coming up from the side. You want to dive through Brightbone Pass, which previously, ooh, prepare to defend myself. Random encounter. Possibly we'll get zombies, which would just, you know, make my evening complete. No. Let's hide the chat. Wolf is upset. Wolf is dead. Alright, so not very really exciting random encounter. Not very challenging. Not very challenging a uh, resource collection. So what I'll do is I'll uh, just leg it and ignore the rest of them. I think that's the exit over there. If you spot any zombies, shout out. Just wolves though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. So, back to where I was. We head through Brightbone Pass. With the random counter, of course, you never know where you're going to end up when you come out of it. What in direction you're facing. And. Well, there's Bright. Ah, uh, so. More or less the same thing. You can enter Brightbone Pass. It's quite a lot of a. It's like a uh, capture the flag type area thing. Uh, it's been a while since I did it. So, anyway, oh, it's gone dark. Let's. Uh, Let's illuminate the surroundings. 
know that it'll help me steer better. So, we've uh, gone through Brightbone Pass, and then you uh, head down the way a bit here, and you'll see at the bottom there there's a road going across to the west. And I want to follow that road. You'll notice that the night sky is, is still in effect here. That's added in R18. So following this road, there's going to be a couple of bridges. Yeah, this is the boring bit of the video. Maybe I should just uh, try not to get lost and uh, review my list of things I wanted to talk about. Oh, I've missed the road, so now I'm walking. Come on. I oh, know, you just have to walk across the bridge. Uh, yeah, so, there's a new area called Kel. Now, I think that is the bit. Um, that is a bit what I'm coming to here that's got the Etcetera Mine. Etcetera Mine in. There you go, Etcetera Crag Mines, you can see them. Uh, there's another new area called the White Guard Foothills. I'm not 100% sure where they are. Oh, I've missed the bridge. Missed the bridge behind a tree. So there's someone with the mining company. Right, so Exeter Crag Mines in there, look. That's new in this release. I'm assuming the... Uh, the uh, the quest for the hat has something to do with it, but I'm not sure. Right, so this ferry to Elysium. So Elysium is a new overland area. You see, we've crossed the water. Port Phoenix is the new player town. Uh, what I'm going to do just before we nip go into Port Phoenix to uh, finish off, I'm just going to nip up the hill here and have a have a bit of a look around at this overland area so it looks like some sort of volcano over there yes i can't see that the foothills but they're possibly around there somewhere let's finish off in uh, the new player around town nope port phoenix let's let's go so this is the third player around town in shred of the avatar um, I've visited the the, uh, the first one in the last two videos. I didn't find uh, uh, the PvP player around town in Grunvald Barrens. I do know where it is now. We may be past it in, in another future video. Uh, so this, I think, is a new a new what's the what's the word for it archetype. It's it's like. Yes, it's a, it's like a swamp town. Interesting. Uh, someone's got a houseboat. So we'll just we'll just head in. It's governed by Chasm Phoenix Fire, Port Phoenix. Makes sense, I guess. Name it after yourself. Let's just uh, get the chat open in case in case anyone anyone gives me a starts talking to me. I often don't notice such things. So there are people standing around as well as the houses. It's a player in town. What can I say? Decor. Oh, it's quite a cool looking bridge. So, uh, go and stand on the bridge and have a look around. So we didn't get to see any zombies. Hopefully, uh, when I do my quest video, we'll come across them. And I did at least find the player around town. You know, after a couple of false starts. 
and we're in this, you know, the whole new area of the map, which is called Elysium. Elysium. So, Port Phoenix is in Elysium. Ah, and this looks, this does look like, um, it looks like the same model as, as, um, as Pax Layer, to be honest. So there's going to be a castle at the top there in Pax Layer. So I thought it was actually a different, you know, a structurally different map, and I don't think it is. Uh, maybe that's the one coming in the next release. So, sorry to end on that disappointment. But, uh, yeah, plenty of housing space around here. If you're looking for somewhere, somewhere nice to stay by the sea, uh, Port Phoenix could be the destination for you. This has been Shroud of the Avatar uh, R19 first look, slightly extended.